You're listening to Praying with Power and Purpose. Hello, dear ones, and welcome to another episode of Praying with Power and Purpose. This is Z from ZariBanks.co. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Monday, March 20th, 2017. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Grateful to be here today. It's an exciting season. Um, there's always good things that happen in the financial realm for me in the month of March for the last three years. So this is always a really good time, and I'm thankful for that. Speaking of, before I get started on today's topic, I want to share um, a couple quick financial testimonies with you because they are always encouraging, and you know, people are always, you know, wondering how to get to that place with the Lord where their seeds return, you know, appropriate harvest and whatnot, and. And, you know, getting to that place where all of their needs met and beyond. And because I've broken through in that area, I'd love sharing those testimonies because they help other set other people free. Well, um, just recently I got um, a blessing, an anointing released for supernatural transfers. And so I sewed $10 with the assignment supernatural transfer on that um attached to that seed and then I got a supernatural transfer that came to me within um, hours I was thinking you know 24 hours or more something like that but it was within hours like maybe six at the most and it was really awesome because I needed to buy something you know with that and that's one of the reasons that I sewed um, I say all the time if you have a need sow seed thank you Jesus and then just a couple of days ago I sewed again I was like oh well, this worked let me do it again so I sewed another ten dollar seed with the assignment supernatural transfer and um, that one came you know within a couple of hours within two hours or something like that and you know you may be wondering well how does this happen to you well if you've been following me for the last two years you know that a money angel was released to me in on March 18th of 2000 or either 15th or 18th of 2015 she was re-released to me again on the same date in 2016 and of course that um, money angel was reconfirmed to me again in 2017 so that's how it's working for me in the month of March so this is a great month for me to be sowing seeds and to be reaping and to be reaping quickly so I just wanted to share those testimonies with you um, and another thing I wanted to let you know that the 7m prayer course is going on right now it's really awesome really powerful lots of higher level revelation over the last few months I've been sharing with everyone that the Lord took me through um, this new place in him where I was able to you know have better vision into the spiritual realm seeing understanding of how it works and how it's put together and you know how he set things in motion and how things operate so that I can receive and participate and demonstrate the kingdom and um, so I've been sharing and teaching from that point of view. Matter of fact, one of the books that I have that is a higher revelation book is called Prophesying My Day. It's available on pre-order until Wednesday, March 22nd, 2016. Then it goes up to a regular price. So definitely get that pre-order price while it's available to you. You can get that at supernaturalubooks.info. And um, I talk about in the, you know, in the information portions for you, you know, you may not be at this level of understanding yet for what you're prophesying on these 31 days that you're going through these prophetic decrees. But the great thing about Holy Spirit is once you move out in faith, your point of faith is the declaration. Your contact of faith is, de is the declaration. So he'll bring you up to that place of revelation so that you can receive and activate what it is that you're decreeing. You just have to stick with it and be available and open to receive from him and allow him to activate you. So it's really exciting. That's a really powerful book. Um, I sent it over to somebody um, to read and they wrote back and said this is one of my favorite of your resources of all time and they said that I um, they love the way I present information in a simple way but it's full of understanding and you know what that means that means that it was it caused and brought transformation to their lives and that's the whole purpose that's the point is being transformed so that we're more like Christ and the more we are like Christ the more demonstration of the kingdom that we have um, one more announcement the um oh two more announcements i'm sorry the the fourth annual grow your dreams conference is coming up on april 7th through 9th 2017 in virginia beach virginia you can go to growyourdreamsconference.com and register for that there are still some spots available but it will sell out it always does god always makes sure the right people are there that conference is amazing it's powerful it's a prophetic business conference so you're getting activated delivered anointed and impartation as well as getting business information that's going to help you succeed as a kingdom entrepreneur 
I always come back from that conference just on fire and amazing things come out of that. I always come back with tons of products because I've been, you know, in that heavenly atmosphere. I have all these downloads. So I come back with tons of products and, and books and stuff like that that I'm putting out for the next couple of months following. So it's really powerful. Um, it, you don't want to miss it if you have the ability to get there. Plane tickets have been super cheap too uh, this year. They've been cheaper than the last two years. So that's really awesome and really amazing. Thank God for that. So you could probably get a great price on them if you need to fly anywhere. All right. Um, the last announcement that I wanted to make is that um, the next upcoming topic for um, the next upcoming module for the ZM7 Supernatural Academy that I'm teaching is on tongues and um, that is a supernatural strategy, a power strategy that takes you immediately into the spiritual realm and has all kinds of benefits attached to it. So if you are interested in signing up for that module, you can shoot me an email. Just go to zm7academy.us and go to the contact page and there's the email information there and you can tell me, let me know that you're interested in taking that. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a couple more announcements. I apologize. If you have student loan debt and you like the impartation and the activation for supernatural debt cancellation of student loans. I'm having prayer calls on Saturday, March 25th and on Tuesday, March 28th, 2017. You can go to ZariBanks.co, my hub, to get information on those um, prayer calls and to register for them. You must register for them so that you can participate. Um, I have prayed for tons of people, thank you Jesus, to have supernatural debt cancellation of all types, but when it comes to student loans, that's when the big um, supernatural debt cancellation instances come in like there's a video out there of you know of a hundred and something thousand dollars that Patty and I prayed and had people um, relieved of over the last couple of years but then in 2015 there was thirty thousand dollars wiped out in student loan debt cancellation so you definitely want to take advantage of that prayer call if you have student loans that you would like to see dwindle a lot faster than they have been right now Okay. All right. So today's topic that I want to um, bring to you is um, starting with Thanksgiving. You know, there are times when you're in situations where you feel so broken down, so beaten down, so crucified is what it is that you, you feel like you can't pray, but you know you need to pray. And so I just want to encourage you by letting you know to start with Thanksgiving. I had to do this for myself um, about a month or so ago, maybe back in January, where, um, you know, I've been in one of those situations where it was like, I'm going along, going along, going along. And then the Lord's like, okay, I need to actually crucify you so that I can resurrect you and bring you into a groundbreaking ministry with power and supernatural demonstrations. And so, you know, it's one thing when the enemy is coming against you and you know that it's the enemy. So you get this Holy Spirit boldness in you and you just want to go to war. But when the Lord is the one who's doing the crushing, you know, that's different because you don't actually have anybody to fight. You kind of just have to um, stay in it, you know, with your focus on him, with your focus on the future, with your focus on, um, what's on the other side, you know, the rewards of what you're going through, you know, those greater things, you know, you are actually picking up your cross and doing what Jesus did because, you know, even though it seemed like people were the ones who were doing things, sorry about that. That's my time, my midnight timer. So I can start my, uh, prayer. So let me hurry up here and get finished and and get on that. Um, you 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 know you you have to just think of what Jesus did. You know Jesus endured the cross. It says he endured the shame and all of that stuff because of the greater glory that was coming, and that's like a situation that I'm in. So I'm here to encourage you that when you're in those situations where it's like, well, you kind of I felt betrayed. I don't know how you would feel, but I felt betrayed because I'm like, Lord, why would you, you know, do something that's so painful to me? You know, like, it's like we've been great friends for such a long time. And I just spent the last, you know, five months, you know, chasing after you, sitting at your feet and all the stuff. So why, why would you do this? You know, I just didn't understand. It didn't make any sense to me. So I knew I needed to continue in prayer. And, and, but I was so broken, so wounded and just so... Uh, uh, you know, just distraught and depressed and disappointed. And it was like, how do I, you know, continue praying, you know, when I'm so upset with the Lord, you know, and I know the rest of you probably don't get mad at God, but I was mad at him for a very 
well not for a very long time but longer than necessary but you know because of what all was going on but I knew I had to continue praying and the thing is is like I've learned that you know even if this is God doing stuff to me the only way to receive the reward for the pain that I'm going through is to stick with him you know you don't have any choice unless you just want to you know, you you never want to regain everything that that you've had to lose in order to be elevated. So, when I couldn't pray, I started with Thanksgiving, and just saying thank you for everything. You know, thank you for tears, thank you for runny noses, thank you for toilet paper to blow my nose with, the Kleenex, all that stuff. You know, just being thankful. Like I'd set my timer and spend minutes giving thanks to for everything and anything, anything I looked at. You know, even if I wasn't necessarily thankful for it, that's not the point but I was forcing myself to move forward so that I could get to, um, you know, to that next step. You know, I had to do something so that I didn't get stuck because getting stuck, oh goodness, you never know how long you're going to be in that position, you know, once you succumb to all that stuff. But start with Thanksgiving. Whenever you feel like you can't pray, you know, because you're so wounded, you're so hurt, you know, I, I don't even expect you to be able to praise. Like if you could praise through you know, being crucified, then you are, you know, pretty close to Jesus yourself. But I couldn't genuinely, genuinely give praise, but I could give thanks because that's like a base level, you know, that's just barely entering into his presence. So that's what I suggest to you when you're at that place where you're so broken, so wounded, so hurt, disgusted, busted, whatever it is, you know, and you, you know, you need to pray, but it's just like, you know, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to do anything? Is it going to help? Because you have that question when God is the one who's crucifying you, you know, you wonder if I pray, is it going to make any difference? You know, because you know, you have to go through what he's, what he's putting you through. And, and, and like I said, it feels like betrayal because it's the hand of the Lord. You know, this is a hand where it's like, um, he's loved you, he's carried you, he's, you know, he's wrapped you up all these times before, and then all of a sudden he's like, I've got to smash you. I've got to smash you, little grape, little olive. I've got to smash you and get all of that oil out of you, get all of that new wine out of you, you know, and you're looking like, are you kidding me? You know, it's like, what is up? But anyway, just start with Thanksgiving start with thanksgiving and just give thanks for everything whether you're thankful for it or not you know you you stub your toe walking by the table i thank you for the stub toe i thank you for the table i thank you you know for the home and as you start giving thanks more things will come up that you can give thanks for you know thanks for thankful for socks for mail for books for post office for your mind for your eyes your ears your hearing all of this stuff thank you for the word just start giving thanks 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 thank you for food thank you for pizza you know whatever it is just start with thanksgiving and um, do that for as many days as you are required as many days as necessary until you begin to come out of that you know that giving thanks changes your focus and it will um, bring a resurgence and a resurrection to your faith which is what you need to continue because I know I don't know what all you have experienced out there and I'd love to hear your feedback definitely leave me some comments below or you can always email me if you like but um, when the Lord is thank you Jesus when the Lord is you know um, squeezing you for that stuff you know it's not the enemy that's coming against you it's him and he's actually said this is my doing you know I am pushing you in a new direction I'm changing things in your life I'm making you new I'm making you look more like Yeshua you know so you know what did you do how did you get through that you know I'd love to hear about you know how you responded to the Lord when he came to you and said I'm about to break you I'm about to knock you off your feet and send you face down so that I can make you who I want you to be you know everybody responds differently but um, it's definitely a learning and growing opportunity and if you want great elevation um, or influence for the kingdom of God it's a requirement 
Thank you, Jesus. All right, I bless you in the name and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget to visit me at ZariBanks.co. I bless all of you um, with acceleration who are sowing into my ministry in this season, especially right now, because before the conference, all of those seeds are going to help make this conference um, a success. And I appreciate that greatly, greatly, greatly. I praise God for releasing the money angel and reconfirming her for the last three years so that I could go to the conference with every need met. That's always a tremendous blessing. And it's always um, a proof that I am on my kingdom path. You know, when you have all the provision, you know you're doing something that the Lord is sending you to do. All right. So again, don't forget to visit me at ZariaBanks.co. I bless you in the name and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take care.